like <clears throat> you can barely see me like i was i literally blended with the dark that's crazy so i'm using my phone's flashlight so you guys can see me i was craving burrito for the past one month and i was like i went out to drop my brother off somewhere i was like you know what i might as well just get it you know what i mean and it's big and fat and i'm gonna finish all of this by myself i heard that it's the, the smallest people you know those people that are small and i'm a small person i am tall but not like super tall i'm like five seven and i'm quite small you know what i mean and people look at me they're like it's always the smallest people that eat the most and i'm like can i help you <laughs> And I don't know what it is about burritos, but I love burritos. And I've only had burritos at Chipotle and at, um, what's it called? And the burrito um, breakfast that I up. Or maybe I should say, I, maybe I should say I up. <laughs> I'm literally facing the road and people are like passing by and, I'm, and I have a flashlight in front of my face and I'm talking to a camera. So, um... I don't care. I couldn't even wait to get home. I'm literally at the parking parking space of Chipotle. Um, I am actually excited about because I know in the future I'm gonna be trying, you know, driven food, traveling, and stuff like that. But every time I think about the food that I'm gonna be trying out, especially different kinds of burritos, I get really excited. And for some reason. My camera is going like this. This is the $13 that makes me happy. Well spent. It took me a month to get here, okay? It took me a month. I hope you can hear me. I know you can't really see me, but I hope you can hear me, all right? Honestly though, I have to give this, I have to give myself a round of applause because I've gotten more comfortable in my own body. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy how much I've grown and how much I've, um, the amount of growth that I went through within a year. Within a year, things changed for the better. I'm saying emotionally, spiritually. Things changed for me for the better. I'm in a better place with my emotions my inside world basically is at peace and i am loving it i need to put you on the tripod none of my burrito is going to waste none none so <clears throat> i was like i was in the middle of doing my nails I did something with it it's kind of like shiny now i don't know if you can see it i did my cuticle and stuff i only have like the base coat on i'm trying to do like a french like a french manicure on myself so i'm gonna need some tape but that's um for later tonight so let's talk let's talk let's talk so I was like, let me know in the comment section. I was like, I have my earphones on. And I'm wearing my app backwards. <laughs> but seriously though. How is life? Talk to me. Well, I do know that I'm in a good place right now. I mean, in a way better place than I was last year. 2022 was a year of transformation for me. And also a year of learning how to set boundaries and, you know, stuff like that. I'm sure there's a better way, to, there's a better angle to put this camera. But first, let me get this out of the way. 
I want to give us a better <clears throat> setup. This is better, right? I just got these new lights, like this sub box. And it's, it's useful now, isn't it? Why is my camera crooked? You know, I, I'm not fixing it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm enjoying my burrito. As you can see, like I'm almost done. It was double this height, right? And look at look at where I am now. So as I was saying. This one is like when you want to watch a movie and you're trying to like get comfy. You know what I'm saying? Twenty twenty two was a year of transformation, and that's because I I asked for it because I knew something needed to change. My mental state was not I was not in a good place emotionally. You know, I wasn't. I didn't have that peace. You know, that inner peace was it was not there, and. It was just a lot going on. I got my knees. Pray to God. I even fasted. <laughs> I fasted. I did all my prayers and shit. And then it happened. The transformation happened. Um but the beginning of 2022 was hell for me okay but as soon as we started getting to around july in fact july was still kind of like eh, but things started getting better august um because I see, I can tell that I have a bright future ahead of me. Um, I am very intuitive, and this is something that I have. I've always had. This is, I believe, this is a gift that God gave to me. I, I was very, very intuitive right from when I was younger. If someone is telling, if someone is lying to me, I can tell. Maybe I'm just really good at reading body languages. I grew up in an environment where abuse, physical abuse, was a thing, and so it was important, especially if you're growing up in that kind of environment. You notice that kids that grew up in that kind of environment, they are really good with body languages because you never know what you would do that would set your abuser, you know, on fire, right? You don't know where what 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 you're gonna do wrong next. You know, that is gonna make them wanna whoop your ass. <laughs> and this abuser was saying he was doing it in the name of discipline. But as a kid, even though I was just a kid, I knew that it was not discipline. This is just wickedness, right? <clears throat> Anyways, so I was really good at body languages and. I was very intuitive. I was this quiet, calm child. Even up until now, you just people around me that will tell you that I'm. That I like to keep to myself. And I, um. So yeah. This year, last year, I did a lot of healing. No one had to do that for me. I had to talk to myself look at myself in the mirror and really have an honest conversation with myself because if I cannot have an honest conversation with myself there's no way I'm gonna have an honest conversation with someone else so 
I can't take myself seriously with the way I want my hair. <laughs> so, um, I took on this journey of healing, my inner child, all of those things. It was, I was still, I'm still pretty young. I was, I'm only 20, I was only 21. Um, I was 22, I mean, I meant, I was only 22, so I knew it was important for me to heal those things, those part of me that was broken. And on the outside, when you see me, because I'm so quiet and I'm, I'm more on the introverted side, it's all for people. It, I won't say it's all, but it's kind of like people, I don't wear, I don't, I don't show it. People, if you see me, you think I'm just a normal kid that is normal child, no normal young adult that is just growing up and has a bright future ahead of her. But I do know that in order for me to enjoy that bright future ahead of me, it is important, very, very important for me to heal those part of me that, that has not been healed yet, for me to give, forgive people that needs to be forgiven for me to let go of things that have been holding on to for so long things that have been wrapping around my neck and just dragging with me throughout the years of me growing up and I did and let me tell you something it's hard it's really hard to be honest with yourself I thought okay I've, I've I, before I started my whole healing process, I thought to myself, I was like, I'm always honest with myself. You know what I mean? But the truth is, I wasn't always honest with myself. I wasn't. Now, when I look back, I pat myself on the shoulder. I did a great job just me saying you know what I don't want to live like this anymore and me realizing that nobody is going to change it for me and this is me talking about my inner world because in the beginning of 2022 and going backwards my inner world was not in a good place I was quiet calm collected poker face on the outside but on the inside there's a whole war zone going on there <laughs> and i'm glad that i did i decided to instead of focusing so much on what is going on on the outside instead of focusing so much on things that i cannot control which are people and how people treat you, how people are gonna think the things people are gonna say to you. Instead of paying and focusing on all of those things, I made the decision to focus on myself. I made the conscious decision to be like, you know what? I want inner peace. I want it. I desire it. And for someone that is introverted, it's important for me to have inner peace <laughs> because I don't really like it's not like I don't like it I was gonna say I don't really like interacting with people but I take that back I do like interacting with people but I enjoy my own company and in order for me to really and truly and genuinely enjoy my own company it's important that I work on my inner peace and nowadays, back in, before I started my healing, I, there have been times where I just want to sit down and not do anything and not be on my phone, none of that, or not even listen to music and just sit down and just look into the sky. And that's a form of meditation for me. Just me and my thoughts, nobody bothering me. I, I've all, I, I'm always having a feeling that I just want to sit down, but then I felt like I needed to fit in. So it's, like, it's either I pull out my phone and just scroll through my phone, 
or I try to like, you know, have conversation with people because in my mind I'm thinking, if I should just sit there by myself, people will think there's something going on with me. People will think I'm sad or people will think I'm crazy. You know what I mean? Or people will think I'm a, I'm a weirdo. But now I don't give a fuck no more. You know what I mean? I don't care. I don't care anymore about stuff like that. Whenever I feel like not being on my phone, not doing anything and just sitting still, I don't care where I am at that moment. And I just have that feeling and it just eat me. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put everything aside. Just sit down. If I need to close my eyes, I close my eyes. If I need to leave my eyes open, I leave it open. If I need to daydream a little bit, I daydream if I want. Without the fear of me, you know, without the fear that people are gonna judge me. Because I don't care about what anyone has to say anymore. I don't care about your judgment, I don't care about your opinion anymore. Whatever you're saying to me is a reflection of you. If you see me just minding my business and just really, you know, not, because you don't see me on my phone and you don't see me doing things that other people are doing, and you feel like you you feel the need to actually say something to me, and most of the time they be saying mean stuff, um, it's a reflection of you. It's a reflection of the person that is telling you those stuff. It's not me. Because if you see someone minding their business and you feel like you just want to insult them or you just want to say something to just provoke, provoke them, why? Don't you have anything better to do? Don't you have anything better to do? That's what I'd be thinking. But now I don't care. I just sit down whenever I need that moment to be alone. I don't apologize for it. Because that is how I function. That is how I'm wired. No matter how much the amount of social interactions that I do, it's important for me to take time out of my day to just be by myself. It's not even all about recharging. I might be having the best day of my life, interacting with people that I love, but still, I still need that time to myself. And have me taking that time, you know what I mean? And not even that, not only that, I'm, I even became more confident. My confidence is out, it's, I'm, I'm reeking of confidence, of confidence. I am. I am sitting right in front of the camera and I'm going to share this video on my YouTube channel. That is growth right there. Before I would have talked myself out of it. process of reclaiming my power taught me that it is important for every human being to know themselves first to study themselves first before before they can really <laughs> connect with other people otherwise most of those things are just gonna be lies because you don't even know yourself you don't even know what you like you don't even know what you want you're always you know going with the flow and honestly there's nothing wrong with going with the flow when you know yourself right and all of that is just a lie I don't even know if whatever I just said made any sense but it is what it is I really recommend that people leave leave whatever is on the outside alone for now you cannot control that the only person that you can really truly control and you can do that for a very long time if not for life is yourself so I really hope this video is not overexposed because I can't really see it. So, 
I did. Um, did people make their comments during the time when I decided to leave whatever is on the outside alone and focus on what's on the inside? Yeah. You've changed. You look depressed. Oh, that. Maybe I was depressed. But I don't think I was depressed though. I am someone that my resting face is is a mixture of like sad and I mean this is based on what people have said. It was a mixture of sad or someone is or being upset. <clears throat> and that's my resting face. Um And I used to try to like, you know, soften my face a little bit. And it's just um, my rest of face is, that's how it is. There's nothing I can do about it. But like, I got to a point where I'm like, you know what, fuck? Everybody. <laughs> this is my face. This is the face I was born with. And this is how it works. Like, if, if, if my face, if I'm resting my face and not, like I'm not talking or smiling or laughing, my face looks... I think it looks normal. Okay? I think it looks normal. But other people come to me, they're like, are you okay? Is everything okay? And I'm like, yeah. Everything is okay. And they're like, you just look a little sad. I just wanted to, you know. I'm like, I appreciate it. But really, I don't really appreciate it because when I'm actually be when I'm actually going through stuff, people don't be asking. You know what I'm saying? Like Anyways, you don't be like, why don't you like smiling? Why are you always sad? I'm like, you're not even with me 24 7. You only saw me like for not even up to five minutes, just sitting by myself and minding my business. And you just immediately come to the conclusion that I'm always sad and that I don't like smiling. And I am someone that loves to, I laugh a lot, I smile a lot. But I don't even trust to like to explain myself anymore. I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. And I just go back to what I was doing. Simple. Before I used to get a little annoyed. But now I'm like, I don't, I don't even get annoyed anymore. I just kind of like, I'm like, that's, that, you know. I just kind of like see, leave people with their behaviors and their attitudes. Especially if you're someone that I, don't, that I don't really care about. There's no need for me to tell you how to act or none of my business. Twenty twenty two. I knew that I needed. Because I know that I have a bright future ahead of me. I know that. And if anyone should talk, come to me and be like, Oh my God, I see in your destiny that you don't have a bright future. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I make that decision. I, I, if I should say that I want to have a bright future, I will have that bright future. Don't give me, a, don't give me no dirty ass prophecy. I have a bright future in front of me. And it's a very good one at, at, at that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> What's the moral of the story? Love yourself. And people who, let me tell you, people who. I literally have my hair. It's not in my food though, it's kind of like on the wrap. 
Anyways, <laughs> that's how I'm going. But I'm gonna eat it anyway. story <clears throat> is that nobody's gonna hold your hand and do what's best for you literally everyone is facing their own demons their own whatever best for you <laughs> and don't get me wrong these people might have your best interest at heart but I promise you're the only one that know what you need you're the only one that knows what's best for you nobody knows but you I mean, you can choose to lie to them. They'll believe you. And you're trying to fit in. It's kind of like lying. Because you're being someone that you're not. Just so, just so people can accept you. And first of all, let me just say this real quick. If you have to change who you are. Just so you can fit in. You're truly not gonna fit in because there's only so much acne you can do. <laughs> Your true self will always slip out. And now, don't get me wrong, does that mean if you have habits that you need to let go of? Or things that you need to change that are not good for you um, you shouldn't of course you should you should improve yourself and you should try to become the best version of yourself but you're the only one that knows what's best for you only you only you And does that mean you shouldn't take like guidance from people? Of course you should. But choose your own battle. 